Let's cook. So good. Hello guys, this is me, uh, Chef Gibley. Uh, so today basically I'm gonna be making uh, beef and broccoli. I'm not making any cakes today, uh, but I'm gonna be making uh, dinner for tonight. So yeah, so recipe, uh, I got a recipe online on tasty.com. So this is my first time doing this. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I added a few different ingredients to the recipe, but I feel like it will not change the recipe at all. Um, it was depending on the ingredients that I had in my kitchen at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to make this recipe, so let's do this. So let's talk about the recipe a little bit. So the recipe, the two main ingredients for the recipe for the beef, the meat, and you have the broccoli. So it's really, really simple actually. Um, because we'll first have to cook our meat, we're gonna set the meat aside, we're gonna create our sauce. The sauce will include uh, soy sauce, um, seasonings, um, brown sugar, all that good stuff, and ginger, all that good stuff. And then we're going to add our broccoli with the sauce so it can actually cook with the sauce. And then to finish up, we're gonna add the cooked meat on the top and mix it up and that's basically it so for the meat here um, actually people use uh, the thicker slice slice of meat so you, you basically get some um, any type of beef basically cut it up you know the size that you want and then you will cook it with that that's your regular uh, beef and broccoli but today I'm actually gonna make mine with this super thin sliced um, meat here and I think it's going to turn out pretty well. Um, this meat, you can actually use this meat with the, the stir fry and can use it for um, carne salad fries and all that good stuff. So it's very, uh, like, let me show you. It's, you see that? It's very, very thin. All right, so let's go to the next step. All right, so we are going to cook the steak now by the way I'm actually sitting down because I'm like I'm six six three so it wasn't catching up my whole entire body so I'm actually sitting down so we can like see everything so anyways let's go back to cooking so we're gonna use some vegetable oil just a little bit a few tablespoons and then we're act we're gonna wait till uh, the oil is actually hot and then we're gonna add the, uh, the meat the, the oil is pretty hot right now so let's go ahead and add the meat And then I'm actually going to add some, this is a mixture of uh, seasoned salt and black pepper. So I'm going to add just a little bit. And then we're going to mix it. And then we're going to cook it till the meat is cooked. All right. And this is our medium high heat. So. Seems like our meat is ready, so we're gonna transfer the meat. Let's produce the heat. We're gonna transfer all of it to a bowl. Make sure we remove everything from the from the pan here. Set this aside. 
gonna put now some uh, oil. Just a few teaspoons. And then now we are going to add our garlic. And then we're gonna add our ginger. We're gonna And then this will create this amazing flavor. This is basically the base of the flavors right here. Garlic and ginger. And we're gonna sear this on medium heat until... All right, so now that the ginger and garlic is soft and a little bit brown, we are going to make the sauce. So we're going to use two tablespoons, not teaspoon, two tablespoons of sesame oil. We're going to put four tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna add an extra one. And then we're going to add our brown sugar. And everything right now is on low. Okay, you don't wanna put this on high because um, it's gonna burn really fast. So this is on low or maybe just like medium low. We're gonna add our sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a few sprinkle of ginger. I love ginger, so keep mixing. And then we're gonna add some honey. Okay, so this honey is hot. Uh, the recipe doesn't call for hot honey, but I like all my food spicy, so I'm going to use this um, RA's hot salad hot sauce, I mean hot honey, okay? As you can see, this is already like boiling, right? So we are going to use, just put maybe three tablespoons of Honey. Go ahead and keep on mixing. Okay. And it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Okay. We're going to add three beef cubes, bouillons. Or if you have chicken broth, sorry, if you have beef broth, you're going to add one cup of beef broth, but I don't have beef broth, but I do have uh, the beef bouillon, so I'm going to add three of it, and then I'm going to add one cup of water, and keep mixing, alright? And 
then I'm going to add just this little salt pepper seasoning here. All right. And then we're going to keep this on low until the bouillon basically uh, disappear from the sauce and it simmers a little bit. And this is on medium low. So, so everything is combined really well. Oh, it smells so good. Everything's combined really well, and then um, the sauce is turning very not thick, but it definitely has a consistency in the sauce now. All right, so our next step will be to add the washed broccolis. The broccoli is already washed, right? So we're just gonna add them. Uh, let me actually cut this one here. So you wash your broccoli and uh, you cut them. This is about uh, four or five um, broccoli. How do you say? It? You know, like a, like a broccoli head. It's like four or five. Of them. So we're gonna go on and add the broccoli. You kind of want to like detach them a little bit when you put them in, unless you want your broccoli to be like really thick with the meat go ahead and just like break them up you don't have to this is just my preference a little bit small All right, so now we're going to basically uh, do the cornstarch. So the cornstarch and water, we're gonna mix it together. And we're gonna add it to our broccoli to make it uh, to make it thicker before we add our cooked steak. So I'm gonna add and we're gonna mix it. So the things combined. thickened now it's like super it's not super thick but it's like a really good consistency um, if you want to make it thicker you're gonna have to add some more cornstarch but I think that this is like a perfect consistency so we've waited till uh, the sauce became more thick and it's boiling right now so it's time to add our cooked steak here and we're just gonna like let it all cook together.
now that I think about it, I feel like I have more meat than actually that actual uh, broccoli. But hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we're going to let this cook all together for another 5 to 8 minutes and it's going to get a little thicker and then we should be good. So while this is finishing up, I'm going to pair this dish with some white rice. I love rice so I'm going to go with rice. Um, or you can actually just eat it with some pasta if you can or you can eat it with some honestly anything you want so I'm gonna start making the rice while this finish up and so we let this all mix together and let it boil all, all together for like five minutes now we're gonna reduce the heat to low and then we are going to add some white sesame seed or just roasted sesame seed uh, on top. Some people don't like sesame seed, but you don't have to, this is optional. So I'm gonna add that. And then the rice is actually almost done cooking, and then we should be good to start eating. done now so now we're going to serve ourselves so I made the rice with the insignia rice cooker in cork right here and it's actually done pretty well and also I know some people always ask me like where do I get my uh, cookwares and stuff like that or like, like uh, kitchen gadgets or appliances well, it depends. I get some of my stuff from, um, from Amazon, Macy's, Kroger, um, Best Buy. Basically, anytime I see like, some type of sale or like, a really good appliance, I will try to get it if I really need it. So, anyways, so this hot plate here, I got this hot plate on Amazon. Um, I got it not long ago. Uh, it's Duke Stop, that's the name of it, Duke Stop. It was very affordable, so if you guys are interested, let me know, I will put the link in my bio, so you guys can take a look at it. All right, so let's serve yourself now. This is gonna be so good, I'm so excited. I'm gonna serve it over some long rice, long white rice. Like I said, it has more meat than actual broccoli, but hey, it's okay. It's okay. All right, let me just move this on the side here. And I'm gonna serve another plate. Look at that. Let's 
cylinder. And what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to add some a topping on top. This is a rice seasoning. I always have a hard time uh, saying the name of it. It's nori komi furi for, for cake. Furry cake. Alright, so my mom basically sent that to me. She's she loves it and I love it now. I'm addicted to it. So it goes on rice. And it's really good. Super 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 good. So it has a sesame uh, seeds in it. Sesame seed. I'm gonna add just a little bit on that too. Oh, that was too much. Okay, 